Good morning, Good morning Rocks. Rocks. I'm Ava. And I'm Joshua. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Face, Face the flag. flag. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Attention all 8th graders. Voting for 8th grade favorites will open during homeroom tomorrow, Friday, October 15th, and last year at 3 p.m. on Monday, October 18th. Go to the Rio Norte website, click Students, then Rio Vote to pick your favorites. The Bird Club is having their first official meeting today in room D4, Mrs. Van Dyke's room. This meeting's topic is birds of prey, such as eagles, hawks, falcons, even river hawks. The Fantasy Freaks Club first official meeting will be tomorrow in room D13. This club talks about different fantasy books, comics, movies, shows, and more. Meetings are every Friday at lunch in D13. Let's learn more about tomorrow's Spirit Day from Rio ASV. Hey Rio, this Friday, October 15th is Pajama Day. Pajamas are only allowed at school this Friday. Dress code still applies. Thanks Riverhawks. Now let's listen to some exciting news about COVID-19 booster shots. Welcome back to World News and Current Events. The COVID vaccine came out in December of 2020, and since then, according to the CDC, over 393 million doses of the vaccine have been administered, offering greater protection against the coronavirus. The COVID vaccine continues to offer very strong protection against severe disease and death, but their ability to prevent infection is dropping during the surge of the Delta variant, according to studies the CDC conducted. Just like our annual flu shot, the COVID-19 booster shot has been shown to help people stay safe from the virus longer, particularly among higher risk populations. It is therefore recommended that the third vaccine shot be given six months after the second dose in these higher risk populations. Those eligible include elders 65 and older, healthcare workers, and many people working in education, including teachers. At this time, the FDA is not currently recommending booster shots for other Americans, but may do so in the future. Booster shots are a big advancement in the effort to keep us all safe and healthy. Regardless of your vaccination status, wearing your mask indoors, and washing or sanitizing your hands regularly helps us all stay safe and healthier. Do your part, Riverhawks! Are you an 8th grader interested in a future career in the medical field? The Medical Science Academy at Valencia High School may be perfect for you. MSA prepares and teaches students about different pursuits in the medical field. To learn more about how you can get started in 8th grade, there will be a parent meeting tonight in the Rio Norte Library starting at 6.30 p.m. For more information, check your student email or contact the coordinator email on your screen now. Today is National Dessert Day. Celebrate tonight by spoiling yourself with a tasty treat. And finally, here's your daily dose of positivity. Do not let what you cannot do interfere with what you can do. UCLA basketball coach John Wooden. Well, folks, that's all for today. I'm Joshua. And I'm Ava. Teachers, please stay tuned for, at this time for a very important safety message from our principal, Mr. Ferry. Today we will have a conversation about lockdown drills and what we need to do to keep ourselves safe. First, you must understand we will never do a surprise lockdown drill. So it's very important that if you hear over the school's loudspeaker to lock down, please do exactly that. Before we discuss the specifics about locking down, I want to bring to your attention to the student care line poster in your classroom. On this poster, you will see an email address, riotip at heartdistrict.org. Please look around the room and take a moment to find this poster now. The best way to keep ourselves safe is to be proactive. The Student Care Line is there to keep us safe and provide help and support to those in need. For example, you may see a change in a friend's behavior that you find concerning. You may notice a classmate becoming more isolated or you may hear or see something that makes you uneasy. These are all good reasons to use a student care line. We have school lockdowns for various reasons, but most commonly we do them to keep you safe 
from a possible physical threat on campus. Now, let's take a moment to think about what might happen during a lockdown. First, you will hear over the loudspeaker, this is a lockdown. When you hear this, and as soon as it is safe to do so, please secure yourself inside the building. You and your teacher should make sure the doors are locked, blinds are closed, and the lights are off. Next, everyone in your classroom should hide quietly inside and away from windows. It is best if you are sitting on the floor. During this time, make sure your cell phone is placed on silent mode. Remember, you are hiding, and it's important to stay quiet. While you are hiding inside a room or building, start to look around the room to see what you could use to secure the room better or to better barricade yourself within the room. Take a moment now and discuss this with your teacher. It's also important to identify things you could use to, de to defend yourself against an intruder. At this time, think about what you might do if an intruder were able to force their way into the room in which you are hiding. What would you do? What could you use to defend or protect yourself? You would most likely be moving from a hiding to a fighting mentality. Take a moment to discuss with your teachers things you could use to defend yourself and your classmates. Now, I want you to think about this. What if you hear someone knock on the door yelling, let me in, or this is the police, open the door. What would you do? First responders will have keys to all of our rooms, so there is no reason to open the door for them. Keep the door locked to keep everyone inside safe. In an actual emergency, law enforcement will have a clear plan on how they want you to exit the room. As I stated earlier, first responders will have keys to the school to open all doors when it is safe to do so. When exiting the room, you must stay calm, your hands visible and up in the air. Law enforcement officers need to know that you are not the intruder. First responders will escort you to a safe location. Never leave or exit on your own. Law enforcement will get you when it is safe. Now, Let's discuss a lockdown announcement that happens during brunch, lunch, between passing periods, during PE, or before or after school. How would you handle a lockdown during one of these situations will be different from if you are in a classroom. If we have an intruder on campus who we feel is a threat to our safety, we have three options, run, hide, or fight. So far this morning, we talked about hiding and what we could do to fight off an intruder. If you are outside and you hear a lockdown call, you need to use your best judgment. Try your best to secure yourself in the nearest building, classroom, or office and lock the door. Maybe you will not have time to get into a building and your best option will be to run away from the danger as far as you can. At this point, you must try your best to stay calm so that you can think clearly to choose the best option to keep yourself safe. In a real emergency, you would not get in trouble for running to a safe place, even if it means climbing a fence to run off campus into the local neighborhood. Our best defense against possible intruders is to be aware of our surroundings. If you hear someone talking about things that make you nervous, talk to an adult immediately, trust your gut, Get in the practice of paying attention to your immediate surroundings. The safety procedures we talked about today do not only apply to here at school, they apply to numerous settings, such as the mall, movie theater, library, grocery store, anywhere and everywhere. We need to work hard at being alert and aware of our surroundings and the people around us. The more alert we are, the safer we will be. Thank you today for paying such good attention to this important safety message. Remember, Riverhawks, we want you safe and we love you.